problem with these young streamers, etc., is you guys haven't built up the prerequisite masculinity and intangible traits that makes you fucking attractive. You guys haven't conquered enough yet, so therefore, these bitches come in, they haven't conquered shit, and think they can conquer you and tell you what to do, and since you haven't been through enough fucking struggle, you sit there like, okay, I'll let you stream with me, okay, I think your opinion matters, okay, I really like you, fuck that shit! Fuck that shit! These bitches are fucking useless 99% of the fucking time! Let's be real! Okay? They have tits and a vagina, and that's the only reason anyone gives a fuck about their fucking opinion. But 99% of them have 68 IQ and are bumbling fucking retard! Happening? So Tampa's the first one. Yeah, we believe. might have a workshop for you guys. Yeah. Um, uh, we might have a workshop for you guys end of October mm. here in Miami. We're going to have a bunch of the generals here. We might have a quick little workshop for you guys there. So if you guys are in the Florida area or whatever, we'll make it totally affordable. If you're a Cast Club member, obviously you'll get it for a, a significantly cheaper price. Yeah. But if you want to come and meet us and hang out, meet some of the generals, etc., we're going to do a workshop on a bunch of different things to help you guys become better men. But uh, anyway, uh, I guess uh, I'll turn it to you first. Tell us a little bit about today's topic. You actually came up with this. Um, yeah. So yeah. So I was browsing X recently. Um, I'll show you a while back too as well. And I saw this guy, cuff him, streamer on kick, friend of Aiden Ross and a couple of other kick streamers as well. And the guy's pretty much entertaining as hell. Funny guy to watch on, on, on kick. And I got to say this, man, I can relate to him because he's going through a scenario now where like his Asian girl went crazy and went off the rails. And it's crazy because in this moment here, you can see in 4K how you can get with somebody and they can either change or unmask themselves in a different way you didn't think possible to mess up your career or yourself as a man and i think for most people here if you've been dating women especially nowadays in this current climate you can see that some of them pretend to be good but they're not really good and if you're not fully aware it could happen to anybody so at this point man cuffin's going through it right now with his, his ex-girlfriend and apparently she stole his car and ran off with some white dude and smashed him in, in the tesla which is crazy, by the way. But before we even get into the whole main topic, let's look at who cuffed me and his ex-girlfriend. There's a video we have here as well. of them arguing. And this has been going on for like months, bro. Back oh, really? Arguing. He's been cheating. Oh, she's been cheating. Man. It's been crazy, okay. bro. Yeah. But to see it on camera is wild, though. Just saying. Okay. Shout out to him, though, by the way. We spoke on the phone as well. Shout out to him. Here we go. Yeah, this is on kick. My life, you're a cheater, bro. bro. So that's his oh, ex-girlfriend. Oh, oh my life, I'm not. Oh my life, I'm not. one time. Don't be saying, bro. Come time. on, don't I'm be not saying that. that then I'm not saying that. Bro, I'm not a cheater. one time. Bro, that's I'm not a cheater, bro. I'm too ugly to cheat. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why you would. <laughs> ugly gang, let's go. I don't cheat. Look, let me show you. On my life, let me show you, bro. I can show the chat. I don't care. The chat know who that girl fuck with, bro. It don't matter, bro. Bro, it wasn't like that, though. I started streaming so I could, like, do collabs with guys and shit, and, like, maybe that's what I should do. Why All my life, it was that? nothing like that, bro. I, I don't like, know. This is the first time I've seen her or her Look, voice. let me show you, bro. Yeah. Let me show you. Uh, maybe take over your I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm a, a bit jaded here. Asian girls, man, I'm staying far away from. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, it's okay. I'll give my objective opinion then. So, yeah, I made a joke about this <laughs> with uh, Noble, actually. I said Jideon's next, but don't quote me on that. I'm just saying. Anyhow... This was like the most, I want to say, crazy part is that she, for a long time, has been cheating on him, basically, in a way to be, be didn't possible at a massage parlor. But let's play the actual clip from Cuff himself. He can explain it better well, before, Real quick, uh, before we even go into that clip, you guys can already see some fuck-ups here, right? Like, he's over here like, oh, no, nah, I don't cheat, whatever. He's like qualifying himself like to her accusations or whatever. Like, he's talking to her as an equal. Look, man. Okay. Before I go on a rant, let's play the next clip. <laughs> Whatever. I'm about to get us kicked off YouTube already. No, nah, let me Listen. just chill. Hey, no, but I, I get what you're saying. Because you're like, I don't care. Yeah, like, like, what the hell is going on here? Like, why are you over here explaining yourself to her? Yeah. Why? Um, so this is him responding to her cheating on him, I believe. And I'm not going to lie. I don't know if this is real or not. But if it's real, it's kind of crazy. And so. she put this out, right? Yeah, she, she leaked this audio. I'll uh, play from the very beginning. But apparently this is him, like, uh, I guess, complaining. All right. This is after you fucked up. Hey, bro, you really with a nigga, bro? What are you doing, bro? <laughs> bro, you really want to answer the phone, bro? Bro, you, bro, I fucking hate you, bro. You here, bro. God, don't worry about what I do, bro. God. So whether that's real or not, I think the the takeaway is this, guys. Uh, and I've said this before on, on, on podcasts. Um, 
when men get involved with women, right, we love them a lot more than they love us. And before people get angry at me and say that I'm a misogynist for saying this, let me explain what I mean by this. So, misogyny. Men, when they deal with women, have to invest more in the beginning really of the relationship. Yeah. Right? Because as a man, you must bring value to even get the attention of said woman. Right? Now, after you guys are together for a bit and you know there's some time and you have some um, investment there, then she's going to start to invest more. But the reality is, most of the time, up front for mo a majority of men, a staggered majority of men, is they have to bring value up front to get the girl in the first place, right? And if you're someone like Cuffum, who even acknowledges his sexual market value disparity when it comes to looks, he even acknowledges this, he understands that um, girls that he pulls, he's probably going to have to pull off his personality, charm, social status, etc. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? Like, you know, I'm not going to knock a guy for using the tools that he's dealt. Like, do mm -hmm. what you got to do. Yeah. Um, but I say all that to say, typically when men fall in love with women, they're more invested in the relationship than women are. This is why men have a much harder time uh, w with breakups than women do. Significantly harder. And not only do they have a harder time with it, they don't initiate breakups as much as women do. Women overwhelmingly initiate the breakups and are able to get over relationships faster than men for a multitude of different reasons that deal with their biology. Well, right? One of them, which I talked about this earlier with Zerka, shout out to him, is that Women, right, since the beginning of time, have had to always acquiesce to the strongest men around them. And what I mean by that is, right, things weren't always as civilized and nice with electricity and fast internet like we enjoy now. Things used to be really raw and tough back in the day, guys. I'm talking wars all the time, constant human conflict, Conquerors. fighting over resources, etc. Yeah. So in these times of um, non-stabilization where... There's constant wars and fights and everything else going on, right? Since man has been around, it's been a constant thing in man, especially in older times. Um, women have had to basically to learn how to adapt to the men that come in because what ends up happening is they cut the our invading army comes in, they kill the men, they, fill, they kill the fighting age boys, and then they go ahead and take the women and then the resources, etc. So women had to learn over thousands upon thousands of human years that. In order for us to survive, we need to learn how to deal with the strongest men. So women are easier, are much more cold-blooded when it comes to getting rid of men. I mean, I'm sure all of you guys have been here where you've been in a relationship with a girl, you really liked her, and she just turned it off and broke up with you, right? Or uh, she got over a relationship much faster than, than you did, or she, she just went cold all of a sudden. And women are able to do that because they have to be cutthroat like that because for many years... They would lose their fucking husbands, lose their counterparts, and then they had to learn how to deal with the new fucking guy. This is why women look for men that are strong and tall so strongly. Like, how many girls have you met? Oh, I don't date men that are six feet tall, uh, that are uh, that aren't at least six feet tall, and they'll really stick on that. Or I don't, I, I need a guy that's in shape, or I need a guy that's like big and intimidating. Why do you think they have these primitive needs? They need it because they want a guy that can protect them, so they don't have to fucking acquiesce to someone stronger. Okay, if you look at female biology and what they're attracted to, it's all based on survival. Okay, women look at men from a survival value standpoint, men look at women from a replication value standpoint, etc. Man, a woman wants a man that can take care of her and protect her. That's why they look for resources, height, strength, competence, etc. Survival skills, and then men look for replication value. Is she attractive? Is she healthy? Is she young? Is she fertile? Can I have children with her? We look for completely different things. So since we look for completely different things, we're going to be open and okay with ending relationships on different types of parameters. So for women, once they no longer see that survival value in you, boom, you're fucking done. They're going to move on to the next fucking guy. Okay, and they're able to do that quickly because they've been programmed for thousands of fucking years to do this. Okay, so guys like him, right? He obviously is invested and he's crying, whether it's real or not. The, the take home is this men fall in love much harder than women do. W point, by the way, just out your point as well. I want to add in that women will find a partner. To replace you even before it even ends. Yes. And what's happening here is that like they break up with you before you even know it. With social media, there's so much access. She has at least, I want to say this is at least five to ten dudes that are willing to say, you know what, I'll be your friend and hang around until you you become single. Or they might just be like in the in the background watching your stories, like in posts, but you don't even know that they're there waiting for you to fuck up. Granted though, like you said before, the moment you become no longer that financial I want to say provider for her or even like securities provider you become either replaceable or even like for example weak and if she's just weak she's gonna just disrespect you talk talk bad about you even hit you and then it's too late 
But at that point, you're like, oh, I can fix it. If I just cry a little bit more or give her a little bit more, you can't solve it when it's ended. She already made, made up her mind is over. So what you're saying and, is and just, correct. Oh, God. And the other thing, yeah. too, I wanted to bring to the audience's attention, breaking down that clip. If you guys notice, he's over here qualifying to her, like, you know, trying to, oh, no, I'm not, blah, 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 all that other shit. Guys, never do that. And the reason why I say never do that is because that actually lowers your survival value. Wait, hold on, man. What are you talking about, bro? This is the most explain. When you're over here qualifying to a woman and qu and, and um, answering to her, right, and you're over here, like, you know, letting her control the frame like that, what that effectively demonstrates is that you're not sure of yourself, you don't know where you stand, and you're fucking weak. And if she could sit there and bitch you out and make you qualify to her and answer her questions and control the frame... What's going to happen when the capable man comes around? And that's the fucking big point that you guys need to understand. I don't tell you guys this shit just so I can sit here and listen to the sound of my voice and we're going to go ahead and put down women and all this other bullshit. No, I'm doing this shit for your fucking girlfriend that you're going to have in the future. She's going to thank me for teaching you how to be this way. You don't sit there and qualify to women and answer their fucking questions and let them control the frame. Because guess what? You lower your inst your um your you lower her view of you from a survival standpoint because if you have to sit there and qualify to her and answer to her, guess who's in the leadership role? Her. And guess what happens if someone breaks into the house? She's going to be in the leadership role because she still has this in my mindset. Like, he can't even stand up to me. How's he going to stand up to a fucking invader? And then you're a fucking bitch and she looks for a stronger man. This is why you don't qualify or answer to women because when you do that, you lower your survival value. That's what it comes down to, and that's what women look for, man. They look for survival value. Your looks, your height, your strength, your competence, your income, your social status, all of this comes into survival value. You understand, guys? Once you get this through your fucking heads, you will never, ever, ever let a woman control the frame. You will never, ever, ever let a woman be a leader in your relationship. You will understand that the burden of performance on um, being the leader in Creating that survival value is on fucking you. And if you ever let that shit go down, guess what happens? They look for another guy that has more survival value than you. Don DeMarco. Literally. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going with right now. Yeah, I hope a couple of them is watching this shit. This isn't even me trying to talk shit or whatever. He's a young guy. He's probably in his early 20s or whatever. Like, young guys are just not going to know this shit. This is going to take years decades of getting broken up with Experience. getting your heart broken yeah. getting fucking uh rejected whatever it may be like this is coming from fucking experience guys like you takes you a while to learn this shit i'm an old ass nigga man i'm 34 so like dan are you old i am well what the fuck are you talking about you're, you're i'm 31 right. yeah but bro <laughs> how you look older than me though nigga well you're not black you're arabic anyhow uh, is it the phrase uh <laughs> black don't crack Hey man, <laughs> that's when it comes to lotion. But the point is that, like, listen, I understand. Yo, first what, got an old face, the old, old nigga I do. face, man. My name is Walter, bro. I got an old ass name. <laughs> Anyhow, girls to love it. <laughs> the point is that Cuffum in this scenario should have moved differently, but he's still young. He's a streamer. He's doing his thing, and he thinks he's doing the right thing by acting out and saying, for example, "I'm sorry, I, I didn't cheat." Whatever. Listen, you bottle her her demands or bottle her knees, she's gonna take advantage of you. This is what it is. Yeah. So. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. So you got another clip that you wanted to play with? Yes, we got one more clip. All right. Well, a couple more, actually. So Okay. So uh, this couple says he found out the girl he was dating for two years was giving happy endings to men at a massage parlor the entire time they were dating. Bro, these stereotypes, crazy. Yo, yo. I, honestly, I <laughs> thought this was maybe Kat because it's too funny. Yeah. She's Asian at a massage parlor <laughs> giving happy endings. I'm like, is this, this Kat, my nigga? Yo, is this is for real? Yo, she Wait, must have is. known uh, your chick. Yo, bro. I kid you not, cuff him. My nigga, bro, we spoke about this, bro. No <laughs> more Chinese Asian girls. Too? I think so. <laughs> no more Asian girls, bro. We're done with these whores, man. What, 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 Send it back to Thailand, we? China, all this fucking shit, bro. We're fucking only white girls for now, we, bro. We? <laughs> Just keeping it being with you. Who's we? I mean, Kuffum, nigga. We? Fuck. What? Yo, by the way, though, Kuffum, um, you should be here in studio next week. I got your brother. We'll talk some more. But this is crazy because I want to come and talk. Yeah, and here's himself. the thing: like, this isn't us even trying to clown him, or whatever. Because a lot of you guys have been in this fucking situation. Yeah. I don't want none of you motherfuckers talking shit. All of you guys have either been in this situation or know someone that's been in a situation like this, or even worse. Yeah. So and nobody this, talks shit, man. And this is a culmination of you being yeah. weak, you not being the provider or the person in lead, and then they hit you in public. They shout out you. They talk shit about you behind your back. Is this bitch? Um, what? You know what? I hate to do this shit, but pull up her IG because I guarantee you she's on OnlyFans or something. She's got to be a creator. She's got to be. If she is, I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure. 
Someone find her IG and put it up here. But, uh, or, but, but she's working on a massage parlor. I mean, <laughs> does, does she really? <laughs> Apparently. Okay. Let's play a clip real quick, man. Because I, I kid you she not, bro. She's got to be an OnlyFans this trick, bro. This is literally on point for Sarah. Again, I've, I've, that's the, that first video you played, that's the first time I've ever seen her yeah. or heard her. Yeah. I just knew she was an agent from what she's you told me. She's been on a couple times on his streams, but not like a lot. And she kind of dissed him as well for not working as hard as he, as he should. But we'll play a clip. Okay. Uh, when she was a massage parlor massagist. Yeah, her name was Carla. She was a massage parlorist. <laughs> I just found that out. <laughs> Yo, pause, pause. Like, pause. I gotta do my research. The whitest name possible, Carla. You Asian, nigga. What the fuck? So her real name is probably like Mijin Jin Bun Jing. Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, yo, uh, uh, let me tell you something about these niggas, man. <laughs> Bless they you. come to America, yo, and they get an American name on the birth certificate, but when they go home, their name is Peck Sun. Bro. <laughs> Remember, yeah, I'm telling you, bro. Remember Jin? Like, <laughs> Jin? Yeah. Yeah, nigga. Yo, you they, want to know what their real name yeah, is? Yeah. Catch them around their parents. Facts. Their parents are going to say what it really is. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, they be capping, man. Yeah, these Asians, bro, they be lying, man. They, they their be, name is like. They be trying to hide and shit. You know, James Chang or some shit on their birth certificate, but their real shit is Peck San. <laughs> <laughs> you meet their parents, bro. <laughs> telling you, man. Yo, Carlos going to give you a massage now. Carlos here for you. Niggas named after a really bad 90s drink. <laughs> All right, let's continue, bro. Damn. That's actually correct. Shout out to Angie. Thank that, you for this coffee, that, Angie. That that is actually correct. Though, Sponsored Mario. by Angie. Yes, yeah, well, yeah. This this caffeine is brought to you niggas by the Venezuelan Angie. All right. There you go. On these there we go. So you gotta do your research on these holes before you cuff them, bro. Yeah, fresh. You gotta mark. do your research on these holes okay. before you cuff them, bro. Girl of mine. Mm -mm. Pause real quick. Here's the irony. I like that. He said you got to do your research before you cuff him. Here's the irony. Well, his name is Cuff, which is kind of funny. Yeah, yeah was, <laughs> no pun intended. But, but no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. I like that he said that, though. What do we say? What have we been saying on this podcast yeah. since 20 yeah. fucking 20 when we get, came on this shit? But, but hold on. What do we say? You, uh, you got to do what? Vet him. You gotta, at least a year. But hold on, hold on. Nowadays, though, even dealing with, with, dealing with them on a chill, subpar level could mess you up, too, bro. Like, like, even just like yeah. playing, like even playing the fields. Like you, you, your chick. Nigga, you, I wasn't even with her. Now I know you weren't. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. They, like you were in the, <laughs> you, you were in the vetting process with her, and she still fucked your shit up. Bro, so it's yeah, funny, bro. <laughs> uh, yo, listen, I just realized, bro. For me personally, I want to enjoy the experience. Yeah. I don't care about the white picket fence, marriage anymore. Yeah, I want to be clear about that, guys. She, yeah. she, she was never freshest girl ever. Facts, bro. I, he never yo, gave her a title. Yo, yo, yo. He lied to her. <laughs> she shouldn't have done. Listen, bro. Even I clown him for that shit. Listen, selling a dream. I, but I, I, I promise you, bro. I just cuff him to a T, and I appreciate the honesty he has. Let's continue this clip, though, bro. This is hilarious. Ah, no, it's not funny, but it's it's funny. That makes sense. I play. Her name was Carla at a massage parlor with happy endings. Allegedly, right? I don't know. Look at this chat going crazy. And one of the girls that worked with her DM'd me and told me. Thank you. They got the great oh, girl. <laughs> so that's why you want to be with a porn star, because you are a porn star. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Like I said, you can do whatever you want to do, try to make me look bad on the internet. You gonna post what you want to post, because you know I got a career on the internet. This shit gonna die down, I'm still gonna be here. That's facts, though. No, that is facts. He's still going to stream. So, okay, that still makes me money. think, yo, this bitch got to be on OF or be a, like a wannabe whatever. She got to be. The chat put it, put, put, say what her shit the is? Chap, the chat might know. but They got to know what it is. They probably put it in, we just haven't been looking. I mean, okay. we could have come talk about it more, but okay. I just think that at this point, bro, the fact that she's doing that, like, if it's 100% correct, she's doing that behind his back for two years is crazy, bro. Oh, for Oh, they've been together that two years? Yeah, even before we started streaming, I think. Yeah, so for a long time. So that's crazy, bro. Okay. Damn. 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 She might be pregnant, I think. Isn't that coincidence? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Let's continue. <laughs> Next clip. Um, but yeah, that it's so weird, bro. Like the similarities are startling. At best. What's the next one? We got another clip here. Yeah. So this is him like recording her. Stealing his Tesla with a white guy inside that she apparently smashed, allegedly. All right. Niggas, get, niggas in my car. Niggas in my Tesla. About to return that shit. That pussy nigga won't fight. Return my car. I need that back. I need that back. Pause real quick. So there's a white guy in the car with his girl, apparently. Like, that. at this moment, he's recording? <laughs> yeah, with, with, in a Tesla right now. And they're apparently smashing. 
That's that's what he said allegedly. As he's recording this shit. Yes. He doesn't want to fight him outside the car. Someone said she is on OF, and someone dropped dropped it right there. Slump Jane or some. Really? Person. I don't fucking know. Yo, somebody check. Uh, fact check that. Nigga. I'm going to look mo, that up. Mo, 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 the, fact check it for us, please. I, I know the given IG. Is, you got permission to go on OF. The, the given IG. <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah, just to verify that yeah, she has it. The, the, Not to, don't, the, don't, no. don't do nothing else. <laughs> don't do nothing else, nigga. Don't subscribe. No, no, no. no. <laughs> no well, the I'll look at the search for the computer. Because the given IG is private. That's why. Oh, it's private. Yeah, the given IG. Oh, well, that's okay, Instagram. Okay. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll start with Twitter. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, what's wrong with these Asian girls, We gotta fact check this shit. They all doing some type of sex work, nigga. Man. Bro. Yo, listen, bro. Asian persuasion is a real thing, bro. I'll tell you this right now, man. That shit was fire. But was it worth it? No. I'll tell you this right now, brother. White, Hispanic, a little bit of black every now and then. But the point is that, like, bro, Asians gotta go. I wonder if they're gonna clip this part and say you're racist. Asian hate is not here to stay. But Asian ladies that do the sex work, gotta go. I disagree, saying. friend. You disagree, nigga, because you didn't get... And anyway. All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's go! Oh, Let's about, go! I did, fresh, I I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Fresh. From I'm the sorry. side. I'm sorry, Fresh. I hey, agree. Listen, fresh, niggas, I agree. Here. Yo, you was just about getting bro? that Cambodian I'm pussy so trying to talk <laughs> about <laughs> this <laughs> shit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here, I'm sorry. Nigga go to Thailand. Nigga go to Thailand and shit like that. Men, boy. Yeah. And it's Philippines. Allegedly. Philippines, okay. Nigga get that Cambodian pussy trying to tell you something, man. I like Cambodians. <laughs> Sticker, man. I'm already doing it in Miami, man. That Come Laos on, man. pussy, nigga. I right. Get the I fuck out of here. Laos. <laughs> that Laos pussy. Cambodians are cute. <laughs> Sticker, get, get that Laos pussy. Yeah, <laughs> lousy ass <laughs> nigga get that Laos pussy. <laughs> hey, he's handsome. He gets something at least. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> this nigga swiping. This nigga pulling out his passport at the airport. Like, hey, hey, hey. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo this, this nigga about was a passport, bro, when he was fat as fuck. Yo, see y'all niggas know. Kids, you know what? So like this with his passport was that was Yo, a profile picture <laughs> Moby getting hoes though yo you know who actually seen all my hoes bro my mom bro she's a trooper she's like another one Walter yeah cause you be lying again so they're gonna be and, taking them and then she's like she's like she's like so okay. they can take it all his bitches to his parents this <laughs> nigga crazy you know what it is she's like, crazy she's just there bro I'm like fuck it hell yo mom you wanna meet so and so oh good to meet you they're like oh my god this is amazing yo, real talk she don't know that only girl my parents ever met was Angie really ever ever Ever, bro. Ever. Damn. Yeah. That's all it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, she'll probably she'll be the only one probably. <laughs> really? <laughs> Fuck this nah, shit. You it's a lot of bro, stress, nigga. My mom my, my, my mom bothering me. My mom is cool though. She's oh, super. Oh, what's the shit? Like, bro. Oh now worry about me, nigga. Now you're screwed, bro, because now she you probably watch the show right now about to text me. That's what I'm saying. Mad. But no, you know but you know what's funny though? Now that she's entrenched into your mom's mind, you can't let her go now. She's there forever. You know? Love at first. I'm pull life insurance on her. <laughs> what the? No. Hire a Venezuelan nigga that likes Maduro. <laughs> no! Yo, cancel this nigga, bro. No! Wait, is Angie still here? She's still here. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> let's keep doing the show. Yeah, let's, let's continue. I just might Please. have incriminated myself. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Motion man in the building. Let's yeah. go. Uh, all right, let's keep going. Let's go. <laughs> Hey y'all, I'm at the police station right now. This dirty ass slut with a nigga in my car <laughs> and think she was gonna keep our car. This bitch retarded. My nigga. Yeah. So yeah, I'm at the police station right now. <laughs> my car right there. Chasing this dirty slut all through the fucking the dust and shit. <laughs> Need that car back, my heart. You didn't pay for it. It's my shit. Right there, that Tesla. It's my shit. Dirty slut. My shit. <laughs> Get you a car, broke ass bitch. Tell, and that nigga won't step out. And that nigga won't step out. He won't come outside. He won't come out the car. He won't come out the car. He pussy. Get out the car, nigga. I don't know. Word of my word, bro. I'll go up to that nigga at the police station and crash on that nigga. Beat the fuck out of that nigga. Oh God. <laughs> For everything I love, I'll crash out right now. <laughs> That nigga wanna shoot birds and post on Twitter, but he won't get out the car. That nigga pussy as fuck. I'm dolo out here, nigga. I'm dolo by myself. Stupid bitch thinks she was gonna get a keep a car for me. No, sir. No, sir. No car for you, bitch. Go buy your own. Go get your own shit. No car for you. None of that for you. Fuck you talking about. Fuck wrong with a nigga. Dumbass white boy wanna tweet at me and shit. Like, nigga, you pussy. Like, you pussy, nigga. You brought me all the way to the police station because you scared of me, nigga. Cause you pussy oh, and I know you watching. You follow them and they suck my the dick and you won't come out and fuck all your okay. dead people. Yeah. Okay. For everything I love. Fuck your mother. Fuck your dad. Damn. Damn. Okay. Damn. So, so now that makes sense. So he caught him. 
Yeah. Followed them, and then they went to the police station. Yes. Because, okay. Yes. So, could you, right. could you imagine, right, bro? You and your girl are done. Yeah. She takes her car from the, co- yeah. the crib yeah. with a dude and is going places you don't know where they're going. That shit crazy. You're like, that shit. I'm about to t- get my car back. So you follow them and they say, oh, fuck, this nigga's crazy. So they pull up to the freaking uh, station so that you can't do shit. Bro. But there's more. S- Sorry, go ahead. Okay, um, you know what? Now nah, we can play the next clip. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, do, let's play the next clip. So here's the next clip. So he talks to the guy <laughs> that was in the car. <laughs> oh no, my bro, God. I kid you not. Yo. I was what like, what the fuck, I was, man? I was like, bro, is this even real? Yo, like, yeah, like, I was gonna ask you this. Cause, because, because. This shit real, Fred. Well, you talked to him yesterday. Yeah, I, I did. Right? This shit real. And today. So, as far as I know, it's real. Granted, though, Cuffham and Aiden's crew have been able to create drama that's somewhat genuine. I'm like, damn, this is crazy because this is a whole drama filled session off of their current life. I mean, this is like the whole new, like, uh, drama alert, li- literally. Like, this is drama created from their own environment. That's pretty dope. Oh, shit, for crazy, content. man. But it's, it's, it's sick, though. Let's play real quick. Ah, shit. It's wild. These niggas got me drinking she this got, coffee. I'm so stressed. Yo, they made it to, oh, oh. I'm a name tatted because of my dick. Yo, Let me know when she gets your name tatted. Bro. Let me know when she gets your name tatted. Let me know. That's, her, not girl, that's not my girl. That's not my slut. That's not my slut. That's not my slut. And I close to and my when Zay Hilfrig was fucking your sister, he was taking that bitch. She could have had on the BBC. She thought it was Ray. Yo, your sister could have handled Zay Hilfrig and BBC. She thought it was Ray, nigga. She just never had black dick before. Fuck, nigga. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? Zay Hilfrig is innocent. Zay Hilfrig is innocent, nigga. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? You fuck your sister, fuck your dad, bro. fuck anybody you, you love, and when I see you, it's a hot, real nigga. Woman. Yo, can you imagine that nigga fucking your girl? <laughs> like, bro, like, bro. bro, bro, I'd be like, yo, dude, keep that, yo, keep, just keep her, bro. I don't you want what? This. Nigga, that's crazy. Bro. Fresh, that's what you thought about? Yeah, <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro, how you stop? Stop the show, bro. Uh, I BBC got you. to WBC. That makes no sense, bro. Like, <laughs> like, sorry, WSC. White small cock. The point is that, like, bro, at this what point, bro, you, you can't go back. So either he, she was. Well, let me not say that. The point is that, like, bro, to go from BBC to that is crazy. Just saying. Yo, so that's, uh, that's wild, bro. Like, that's wild. Cuff him to right that, now. nigga. I mean, come on, bro. Am I tripping? Yes. Yeah. Why? <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> I, I'm just saying, bro. Like, don't, what are you doing right now? Fresh, don't put this me is in, messed up. Fresh, don't, don't put me in this. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Like, dude, this is your legit lifeline. They're making money, making man. moves to that. Bro. Why Fresh looking at me? Like, yeah, Fresh, I think. No. Uh, <laughs> yo, was, there, was there more? He gave the BBC gang an L, bro. <laughs> Let, dude, that day, we got cheated on. We, we took a huge L. <laughs> the community was mad. We the community tied. We <laughs> pissed off because they just gave this nigga a chance. And I'm like, bro, fuck these Asian whores, bro. They go from black to white. What's wrong with you, man? Anyhow, I'm just saying. Uh, oh, bro. Um, what the heck, bro? bro, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. This is wild. <laughs> Um, um, yeah. What's on his head, bro? What's what's his head? Bowser head? <laughs> like, what, what? What is that? Mario, do you know this show? Mario, do you know this? No, that's, uh, that's Lover Boy. It's actually an expensive brand. It looks stupid. Wait, right that's. Now. Wait. That wait. Hat? That that's that's like a legit. Yeah, you can get it at a size fit. Hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, wait. Put, get, put, bills. Hold on. What bill, bills? What is this? That's a that's a lover boy brand. It's like a it's like a high fashion brand. You can get it at a size fit. It's like 180 for that hat or something like that. It looks ugly as hell though. I'm just bro. Like, Yo, wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. nigga got the fucking Burger King hat on. <laughs> 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 that's like Bowser head, bro. Bowser. Yo, yo, yo bro. Yo, yo. Bowser. what the fuck is going on, bro? <laughs> <laughs> is that what these fucking Gen Zers are doing? Niggas is paying one hundred eighty dollars for a fucking Burger King hat. That is fashion. <laughs> yo, believe it or not, that is fashion, bro. That's a uh, high. Look, it's right there. Yo, what the fuck? Chunky ear beanie. What? Lover boy. <laughs> I'll tell you this though, if he, if he what? Did, if he just smashed his girl, bro, that's crazy. Yo, oh, sorry, not his girl, his, his ex slut, whatever. Bro, what the, like you know that rock song? What the fuck is going on? Like, that's how I feel about this shit right now. Like what? That is the generation that we're seeing come up right now. Not gonna vote, by the way. For Kamala Harris. <laughs> there you Yo, go. I thought that he was like trolling. Like I don't know what that hat was. You're telling me that like that's legit. Like what you young people would call drip. You young people. Well, you know, you young people. This is what you young people call drip? Fresh, Fresh isn't even aware of this shit. Yeah, I, I, I didn't even know what, He's what it was. He's not even aware. Like, I'm, by the way, I'm done with drip, by the way. I just buy what's comfortable. You know? You done with high-end I, I, fashion? I, I, I've matured past my years. 
What happened to Pinky Ring, though? <clears throat> well, <clears throat> you know, I'm still a nigga. <laughs> but but the, but the core nigga values are are, are the gone. Core you know? nigga values. <laughs> what are the core nigga values for those that are wondering? All right. What are the so core? So it's the nigga starter kit, right? Especially in Miami, you want to stand out as a nigga because there's ghetto niggas and then there's rich niggas and then there's middle aged niggas. I am considered a rich nigga, not because of the money, but because who I hang out with, what I do, and as a part of the rich nigga community. You gotta look a certain way. Now, mind you, I start wearing the big chains, but every now and then you gotta pop up with something a little icy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. So that's it. But the but the watch is gonna be plain Jane. Okay. But the ring, just something nice, a little piece here and there, and that's it. But no more big chain, no more crazy bracelets, just chill stuff. Okay. Now, what is the middle nigga? That, my friend, is a guy working at AT and T, forty years old, fat, wife and kids, hates his life. Okay. That nigga's cooked. And then what's the ghetto? The the other one you mentioned, the low 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 class one. Niggas in the hood. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the rappers, all them niggas, bro. That's <laughs> niggas, bro. Okay. Fuck that shit. Okay, fair enough. Okay, there you go. Um, all right, so uh, let's finish that video. I don't think we finished it. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. A lot of screaming going on. When I you see can't you, can't handle women, yo, bro. Yo, and I get it. I already you already her out, like, gang. She got. My that was it. All right, yo. so there's that, more. That oh, there's more. Yeah, there's one more clip, right? <laughs> All right, more. let's run it. Let's go. Let's keep so going. This is all in tandem with what's going on with his girl basically cheating on him, taking his car. There's another clip? I don't yeah. Gotta, did you send no? a new one recently? I think that was the last one. That's the last one? Okay, cool. There you go. Okay. Um, and we're going to, again, phone lines are open, guys. 515-605-9740. And we got the Class Club Ninjas in here as well, so we're going to go ahead and get their takes on it. Uh, you go first, man. What do you think about all this in totality? So, <clears throat> overall, man, I think uh, this is normal. <clears throat> For people nowadays where like you have a girlfriend or boyfriend that you care about you you love and you know things happen love fades away and you go through your thing now how you handle it will determine who's really in power and as you can see right here she went with homeboy the white guy le left with his car and he's crashing out because it's fucked up you know you you've been lied to for two years your girl's been apparently allegedly massaging niggas <laughs> with some happy endings and it's like you betrayed my trust. And yeah, I might have cheated here and there, but like, nigga, this is wild. For two years, you've been doing this shit. Yeah. So, from the crash out, makes sense. But granted, though, this could all been avoided if he vetted her correctly. And I think she's pregnant, bro. So she's actually pregnant. That's it makes it even worse because now... He told you that? I mean, it's out there. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. So, but then, but then again, is it his? Is it even real? Bro, we got to find out from Cuff himself. Yeah. But we'll see. Um, so I think the important thing to take away here, guys, is um, this is why, look, man, all you guys that watch this podcast, this is why you guys got to share this podcast with any friend of yours, especially any friend of yours that's younger or has some money or has some status, has something to lose. It is imperative that you are red pill aware because the, the problem here is that his girl, obviously, because look, look let, me, let me be very clear about this, right? Guys, your girl doesn't just cheat on you to cheat on you. There's a multitude of factors and facts and behaviors and things to look out for that leads up to the cheating, right? And if you're intelligent, you're able to identify these things and stop it before it happens. And what I mean by stop it before it happens is you're really not going to be able to stop. You're going to just have to get out the situation and get rid of her yes. before it happens, right? <laughs> so girls don't just wake up one day and say, I'm going to be a 304 and I'm going to cheat on you. It's Death by what they call a thousand paper cuts, right? It's she disrespects you a little bit here. She has a guy friend here. Um, you don't give her a little bit of attention here. You slack off in the gym here. You, uh, you know, you're not on your purpose. You're not making money here. Uh, she starts to get a little bit more masculine because she's got to work more hours here. Like a bunch of different things happen in tandem. And what ends up happening is she's going to break up with you in her mind, of course, right? Then when she breaks up with you in her mind, that's how she's going to be able to cheat on you without feeling guilty after. Because contrary to popular belief, uh, so what some people might say, women actually do have souls, guys, right? And what ends up happening is, yeah, I know, some people, they don't have souls. No, they do. The thing is that what ends up happening is they she breaks up with you, right, in her mind before she does the fuck shit, right? But when she breaks up with you in her mind... You've done a bunch of things wrong that led her up to that decision, and then she breaks up with you in her mind, and then she keeps you kind of there as like what I would consider like a placeholder boyfriend, 
We've talked about this before. She doesn't want to be alone. You're comfortable. You're there. You're available. So she's already had history with you, but she still wants to kind of step out and experience what's here and there, dibble and dabble a little bit until she finds a good, actual, solid replacement. Then that's when she's going to actually break up with you. Yeah. Women rarely actually end relationships until they have something set up. This is the monkey branch theory, bringing you back to Red Pill 101 here, right? The monkey branch theory is girl has you in one branch, right? And then she goes and tries to get the next branch and she doesn't actually let go of this branch until she has this one nice and firm. Then she lets go of your dumb ass, that's why women initiate both breakups, and she goes to that fucking other branch and she has both hands on it like this until she's ready to go to the next branch and move again. So this is what it is when it comes with women, guys. You gotta understand that they break up with you in their mind first before they break up with you physically and do this shit. For her to do this tells me that she's been broken up with this guy far before because the audacity of the actions tells me how long she's been broken up with you. I'll give you an example. If a girl goes ahead and has sex with an OnlyFans dude in a Tesla that you purchased for her, <laughs> um, and then you catch her and she runs to a police station after the fact, that tells me that just by the audacious act that she's been broken up with you in her mind for months, my friend, if not a year already, right? The more ridiculous the behavior, the longer she's been checked out of the relationship. And it's on you as the man to figure out and identify problems way before she checks out of the relationship. And this is why it's so important to be red pill aware. Like, for example, does she not follow your lead anymore? Is she talking back to you more? Does she not respect you? Does she try to embarrass you in front of your friends? Uh, does she question your authority, right? All of these things come into play. And if a woman isn't being 100% submissive to you and giving you her best, you can best believe, guys, that more than likely, there's some infidelity afoot. Why do I say this? Because women can't serve two masters. As misogynistic and sexist as they may sound, that's actually a good thing. Because women, if you're the right guy, are extremely loyal. Extremely loyal, extremely monogamous, and they don't want to be sluts, guys. Trust me, they don't want to be sluts. But if you're a fucking loser, right, and you are not the best option to her, hypergamy starts to come in. Because again, what is hypergamy? It's women looking for the best option, but it's based in doubt. So once she starts to doubt you, then she says, I gotta go find a better guy. But there is, there is no doubt, and she feels as though you're the best guy, she doesn't need to go elsewhere, okay? So when you're not doing what you need to do, the hypergamous kicker, that, that fucking hypergamy kicks in like, eh, eh, eh. and she's like, this guy's a loser, this guy's a loser, you need to look elsewhere, and then if that happens enough, she ends up looking for other men. But again, she wants to be monogamous. She wants to be loyal to you. So it's on you if she ends up stepping out because that means that she clearly thinks that you're not the biggest, the best option. And this happens from your fucking behavior. So when a girl cheats on you guys, it's on you a lot of times. Now, the other thing too that I will say is that some girls, quite frankly, just don't, don't deserve to be wifed at all. Period. From the beginning, right? He talked about a vetting period here. Remember guys, when, when we say that girls cheat on you and all this other shit, this is after you vetted them, right? Like, you're supposed to vet them, right? So that if you find these behaviors early on, you get rid of them, okay? Because I'll be honest with y'all, there's some girls that are just irreparable. Former sex workers, girls that have, like, a troubled past, girls that have been uh, abuse, uh, abused in certain ways. If you guys know what I'm saying, I'm trying to keep it YouTube friendly. Like, some girls just simply aren't repairable, right? And you're not going to be able to come in no matter how much you got your shit together and save these chicks, right? When they say, hey, you know, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife, and that's been going on, and they've been saying that for decades, there's a reason for that. It's very true. So this is why the vetting period is so important. And if you vet properly, okay, that's why it's so important, then you're minimizing these issues that we talked about before with the disrespect and all these other things in, in play. So you need to vet the girl, make sure she has certain characteristics that are conducive to a good relationship, then you go ahead and keep your frame on point and everything else like that. That's just to mitigate the risk. But some girls don't even qualify for you to sit there and see if it's worth mitigating the risk. Does that make sense to you guys? This is the United States of America. It's no longer 1950s America or 1954. It's 2024. And women have changed significantly. You, you need to adapt to the new normal. I actually had a whole debate with this with some stupid conservative yesterday about, oh, well, you know, you're modern. You're anti-marriage. No, I'm not anti-marriage. I'm anti-marriage the way it's done today with modern-day women with all the fucking and benefits they get from divorcing your dumbass. That's what I'm against. So what I say is you need to move differently, right, and adapt to the new normal of the new normal of women. So with that said, you have to do a vetting phase. You have to assume most girls are promiscuous. You have to assume most girls are on white material. So that puts you in a defensive position so you can go ahead and identify stupid ass things because I guarantee you this girl had a bunch of red flags that he didn't identify 
early on. He gave her the relationship, and that's let that's what led him to this sure, sure doom that we're witnessing right now. Hundred percent. Listen, bro, we got two more clips to play um, that are crazy because uh, this is even more crazy. So yeah. All right. So Stop. guys, you gotta vet your girl, man. So this is him chasing them after them. Holy the shit! Oh, oh. oh hell, he's so weird. Where does they live? Arizona oh, or uh, Vegas or some shit? Oh, Cali. Hell. May maybe going to Vegas. So she, wow. she, she's recording him. She recorded him. Okay. Yeah, he told them. I guess he told them what was going on. And then next one here. He got arrested for that shit. I don't know if he, I don't know if he did or, or they did, but apparently the police showed up. So, bruh. Then this one here. Get all your shit. That's right. That's right. The fuck out my Tesla. <laughs> all your, put your, all your shit on the hot concrete. <laughs> fuck out my car. Fuck nigga. You have shit without me, bitch. Fuck wrong with the All you have to do is be a loyal girlfriend. Oh, housewife, cook, clean, stay in the house. Yeah. Now we finna. Watch this, my next stream, I'm gonna fuck 30 bitches on stream. Little stinking bitch. Fucking hate you for life. Think you gonna think you gonna use my car to drive a nigga around? You fucking bitch? Are you fucking stupid, bitch? Are you fucking stupid, yo? Yo, 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 watch this. I better say less. Say less, bro. My niggas got my blood. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Broke ass nigga. Some god, watch this shit. Make sure you break that lane. Call, call, cop. Cop calling, bitch ass niggas can't handle your own business, bitch. Fucking scary ass. Fuck. Well, <clears throat> fuck out my car. So bitch. I think uh, she called the cops. Pussy. And then they, he, he told the cops what happened. With, where like, yo, this is my car. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Got, he got it back. Yeah. So, okay. So he didn't call the cops. She called the cops. Yeah. Okay, and then, and then since this is his car, she obviously had to leave. So. Yeah. Um, the other thing too that I also wanted to acknowledge, and I'm glad that we played that clip because I forgot this thing. Um, he mentioned I'm willing to crash out, etc. Guys, never do that. Look, man. <laughs> when a girl makes a, uh, a decision like this to cheat on you or whatever, you best believe that she made that decision in 100% full confidence, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, when a girl cheats on you, it's for real. It's over. It's done. It's irreparable. I always use the analogy that a woman is like uh, glass, right? If she cheats on you and it smashes, you're never going to, even if you tape it up or whatever, it's never going to work because when you pour water back into that bitch, it's always going to leak. That is the relationship anytime a girl cheats on you. It is not the same as when you cheat on her. I know, oh my God, Byron, you're over here pushing infidelity and degeneracy. No, I'm pushing fucking biology. Men and women are not the same. You can go ahead, fuck some random bitch, come back to your girl, and it might make you appreciate your girl even more, matter of fact. Oh my God, that bitch was annoying. Thank God I'm here with my woman. I want to go to sleep with her. But on the other hand, if your girl goes and fucks another guy, trust me, she ain't coming back to you, motherfucker, and lying next to you and being like, oh my God, I really appreciate my man more. No, because she had to get to a certain place mentally to go fuck the guy where she's now checked out with you. Because for women, sex is extremely emotional and... Uh, <laughs> And it's a mind in, uh, investment for them, unless they're whores, right? <laughs> but to, but still, even the biggest horse, what do they do? I'm celibate. Oh, I'm I'm taking a break. For the like, you know what yeah. I mean? Or 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 I'm done with my party years. Girls can't be whores forever. They can't. They simply can't. They don't have the fucking wires and bi biology to do it. They could do it for a week. They could do it for a month. Hell, they might be able to do it for a summer. That's why they call it hot girl summer. But they don't call it hot girl year. They never call it hot girl life because they can't do it for fucking life. So get that through your fucking heads. They can't be sluts long term. Okay? Now, with that said, that we know that she's made a conscious decision to do this and cheat on you, etc. Never ever fucking crash out don't fucking fight the guy and don't ever fucking fight the girl because it's not worth it she's made that decision in 100 percent confidence that she doesn't give a fuck anymore so what you need to do is not give a fuck either that doesn't mean chasing him down that doesn't mean fucking attacking her that doesn't mean using violence any of that shit no just get your property back as peacefully as you can if you do have property or whatever it may be Separate from her. Make sure y'all don't cohabitate. This is a big reason why I tell you guys don't fucking ever live with your girlfriend or your wife. Right. It's not. A, it's not good because yeah. it creates really messy situations. It could put you in a precarious situation if the police are called. Because most states in America have a mandatory arrest. And guess who's gonna go to jail? You're probably your dumbass every single time. So, um, don't crash out over girls, guys. Don't fucking do it, man. Luckily for him, he owned the car. And he was able to probably evade getting arrested or something like that because he owned it and it was under his name, so he had some kind of case. But 
realistically speaking, chasing her down and doing that other shit, especially when you're a famous individual and being trying to fight the guy, it just makes you look crazy. Yeah. It makes you look bad. It's not worth it. And then let's say you get shot or you get killed or something like that. Yeah. You're fighting with the dude. For a chick that don't even like you no more, mm -hmm. is it worth it, guys? No. Is it worth it? I remember um, there was a rapper. I think his name was Trouble. He went to this girl's crib, right? And he had known or had some privy that, like, her ex-boyfriend was still in the picture somewhat. And he's like, all right, the nigga shows up. I got a gun. I'll, I'll fuck him up. But what happened was when the guy came to the crib, the ex-boyfriend came to the crib, he was, like, asleep. So he got the best of him and then shot him. So it's, it's almost like if, like, it's not even worth it, bro. Some of these chicks, man, that you deal with or might even like you, the conflict behind them is not even worth it. For what? And the other thing, too, is, like, guys, like, like I told y'all before, most men aren't red pill aware. Like, a sip will kill you over a chick, bro. Like, they really will. This yeah. is why I tell you guys all the time, like, yo, stay away from girls that got boyfriends or a husband. Like, yo, they'll kill you over a chick that you don't care about like that. But you know, stupid. But you know what's crazy? Sometimes they don't even say they have a boyfriend. It's like, oh, I'm single. They got a crazy ass nigga next door waiting to, like, get over there. So, you know, I mean, listen, if you know, then it's better. But sometimes you, you, you just don't know. Sometimes. Yeah, man. So don't ever be this guy that's going to crash out over a girl. Like, bro, cuff him. Like, yo, you got money. You got status. You're famous. Yeah. Like, you just gave this dumbass OnlyFans nigga some clout, bro. Like, and there's come so on, man. Many other girls and he's, a he's a weirdo, too. Like, you could tell. Look at yeah. him. Like, yeah. he's a fucking weirdo. You could tell he's, like, a little pump fan or some weird but, shit like that. He probably does. He probably smokes weed every day and fucking uh, pops pills. Like, he looks like a druggie. Like, you don't want to be fucking around with these dudes, man. But you know what's crazy? There's so many other girls out there that would like Cuffin, bro. They're like, why do you even care? Like, like dude, you're you're lit. You're with Aiden. You're, you're the boys. Like, who cares, man? Yeah, but that but, comes with great responsibility. It does. Like, like even Aiden has been finessed by women. Like, yo, these young streamers, bro, I don't yeah. even want to sound like an asshole or whatever. All you niggas need to watch us. Like, every single one of you fucking young streamers that's out here on Kick, on Twitch, like, you guys are over here putting on these fucking bitches that are useless hoes, that have zero talent, and then they're breaking up with you and then using that shit and riding off with it. Like, Aiden was with this chick, Demi sucks, whatever, some bullshit like that. Dumb bitch, man. Retarded. I see her on X all the time talking. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? How's this Nico. girl famous? Nico. Yeah, and I'm like, how's this bitch famous? And then I realized, someone told me, oh, yeah, she used to date Aiden. I'm like, oh, no fucking wonder. This bitch is talentless, right? Yeah. Uh, leeching off, uh, off Aiden. Every single female streamer that I've seen, like, they typically got their fucking start with a fucking big guy streamer. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, if you're a dude and you're famous and you got some money or whatever it may be and you want to put a chick on, at least fucking make her sign a contract so you get fucking paid. These chicks are making a bunch of money off y'all, man. Fuck that shit. Um, and the other thing, too, is, like, you know, when you're young, right, and you become a streamer and you become famous and you make a bunch of money, like, here's a problem, right? You don't build up the necessary tangible assets that it requires for you to be an attractive man. What do I mean by this? As a man, what makes you attractive is your ability to overcome obstacles. Overcoming those obstacles builds character. You get scars, you get cool stories, you get um, experience, and women look for that because what did I say before at the top of the show? Women look for survival skills. So if you've been through a lot and you've overcome it and you've overcome that adversity and you got some fucking scars and some stories, guess what happens instantly? You become attractive. And here's another thing also that happens when you've accomplished things, you've overcome adversity. You're not going to listen to some stupid fucking 21-year-old bitch that hasn't accomplished shit and she tried to tell you something. Okay? That's really fucking important. People might sit there and tell me, Myron, you're a misogynist. You're an asshole. You're a sexist. Yes, I fucking am. And guess what? Women love me for it because I understand the difference and the hierarchy that needs to be established for you to be attractive in a fucking relationship. Women are inferior to men in almost every single regard of human endeavor that actually fucking matters. I said it. You need to remind them of that when you're in the relationship with them. You plan the date. You lead the fucking date. You uh, protect her if some shit happens. You pay for everything. You are the fucking man. You need to demonstrate these things off rip so she respects you. And then after she respects you, guess what? The foundation of love can actually be set. But women must fucking respect you. Right? Before they can love you. The problem with these young streamers, etc., is you guys haven't built up the prerequisite masculinity and intangible traits that makes you fucking attractive. You guys haven't conquered enough yet. So therefore, these bitches come in, they haven't conquered shit, and think they can conquer you and tell you what to do. And since you haven't been through enough fucking struggle, you sit there like, okay, I'll let you stream with me. Okay, I think your opinion matters. Okay, I really like you. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. These bitches are fucking useless 99% of the fucking time. Let's be real. 
Okay? They have tits and a vagina, and that's the only reason anyone gives a fuck about their fucking opinion. But 99% of them have 68 IQ and are bumbling fucking retards. Okay? I fucking said it. And guess what? They're going to love you more when you treat them like the fucking retards that they fucking are. Most of these chicks are stupid. So treat them like they're stupid. You plan the date. You lead the way. You pay for everything. You tell them what it is. You're the charming guy. You're the charismatic guy. You care the fucking conversations. You ask her thought-provoking questions. Hopefully she can fucking think. Then if she can't, hopefully she's hot. But it doesn't fucking matter because you're the leader. Okay? So stop sitting here and deferring to female authority. The fuck is wrong with you guys? It's 2024, and these bitches still aren't equal to us. Ta-da! I fucking said it. Men lead, women follow. It's always been that way. The technology that you enjoy now was built by men, created for men, for the enjoyment of women, and they're only here because we're letting them live here. It's a man's world, and they're just fucking living in it. And a lot of times not doing shit, selling pussy in it. So guess what? You're the fucking leader, all right? We don't listen to women over here. We fucking run shit. They follow. That's how it goes. All right? Keep that shit in your mind all the time. Next time you're on a fucking date with a girl. Next time you're with your girlfriend. Next time with your wife. Hell, she might be watching right now. Bitch, go in the kitchen and make a sandwich. I'll say it for him. Yo, men lead. Women follow. They'll let these fucking bitches boss you around. It pisses me off anytime I see a fucking famous streamer, a famous guy, saying some dumb shit. Happy wife, happy life. She's my better half. I'm so lucky to have her. Shut the fuck up, you fucking pussy bitch. Sure, her vagina is getting fucking dry every time you say that dumb shit. What you do say is, I got here, and she's a byproduct of my success, and she makes life easier for me. That's how it fucking goes, because she wouldn't fucking be there if you weren't the fucking guy that she wanted to be with. You stupid motherfuckers. Know your fucking value. You lead, she follows. Stop being bitches. <laughs> What he was saying was, 